and humid weather. Those are two very different things, Lizard. Like, on Sunday here in Toronto, I think it dipped to like 10 Celsius. Like, you could almost put the heat on. Um, yeah, it was chilly on Sunday. It was like a cold wind, too. Okay, so what do I have here? Another symbol. It almost looks like a human with their arms spread out. I need two out of three discs here. Huh. Give me cold. I want the negative temps. Wow, you got a few months to go, don't you? I'm using black dress pants and a loose baby blue shirt. Oh, that sounds lovely, cat. Sounds like business casual, I guess. I don't know. Dress pants don't seem super casual to me. Like jeans would be like casual, wouldn't it? Oh, what do I know? I wear dress pants. When I go to the office, I wear dress pants. But I've more and more, I'm not wearing dress shirts my boss dresses down so like i feel like i gotta dress down with them does that make sense i don't know yay we got all the collectibles uh this is phantasma 13 uh Joel, that's what we're playing right now we will have barely any sun and rain for the next few days ah yeah, we're getting a, like a little mini heat wave again. My dress pants are of cotton, so it's fine. Okay. The statue's ribs are sealed tight at the moment. I see no way to open them. <laughs> hey, what's my map say? We haven't really looked at the map in a bit. Thing is, like, I basically bought one style of pants, and for work purposes, I just got the exact same pair. Because I don't want to have to think about it. And then for my top, I wear whatever I'm in the mood for, you know? Um, but when I'm, like, socially hanging out, I've got orange pants and green pants and blue pants and all the different colors. But for work, I couldn't be bothered. Let's go to the dark altar. Barrel flame. Hmm. Are you wearing glasses? Not at the moment. When I sit, Stephanie, I'll put on my glasses. I'm standing right now. I'm standing. Should I put on my glasses? Do you think that's a good look? Wait, did I just not come from here? Oh, I guess I kind of... Hang on. Such strange symbols. Somebody carved them there for a reason. There we go. That's what we're looking for. I'm using my cat's butt as a pillow right now. <laughs> See, that's why we need cats. Because they have good butt pillows, you know? Every job I've had, I have had some sort of uniform. Ah. Yeah, I've had uniforms in the past too, uh, Tildy. In fact, my first job at a university, I had to wear a uniform. I was working at a manu like an automobile uh, manufacturer. So they had uniform for all their engineers. So I had to wear a uniform. It was like a navy blue pants with like a baby blue top. And it had my name on it. But I, I work in a corporate office now. We did. We don't have uniforms. Creature emblem. Hmm. Where do I need to put this? Glasses are fire. <laughs> okay. So you got to call the fire fireman to put it out. Not enough men wear glasses, really. I don't share my butt pillow. I don't consent. Oh my goodness. Please put on the sexy librarian glasses. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess if that helps. If that helps you enjoy the stream. Here, I've got them right here in my hand, okay? There, now I'm wearing my glasses. Thank you, Liam. I love how this chat goes off the rails. Yes, Mindy, it very much is normal. <laughs> oh, look, I'm wearing my glasses now. There we go. Oh, I infiltrated the rebels. They don't know I've been hunting them for so long. I will lure them to the house and burn them all for defying my master. This guy's a piece of work. William burned down the house. He needs to be stopped. Yeah, no kidding. I'm not sure if that goes there. No, it does not. Okay, I need to... F this is... I'm going to have to figure out how to make that into a sieve. Gibbs wearing glasses means it's time to focus. Nice. Do you have headphones when you stream or just speakers? I use earbuds, Tildy. I used to use headphones, but I find for games like this, I'm not too fussed about the audio. But when I play like a spooky game, I like to wear my, my headset. Like, you know, the... What did you call it? Headphones, yeah. But right now I'm just... I got earbuds in. Like my head, my headset is actually a pretty decent one. It's an Audio Technica. So yeah, these are pretty good. These are like DJ headsets. I really like them. They have got some nice DTS to them, like surround sound. They're really good for spooky games. <laughs> Barbara, welcome in. He betrayed his own friends and burned them alive. All right, Brittany, thank you for hanging out with us. Sorry, it's... Oof. Gibbs After Dark starts in 20 minutes. Set your alarms, everyone. <laughs> I have an Audio-Technica record player, do ya? I bet you my headset would plug in nicely into yours. Wait, we're talking about a... Record player, right? Okay, so this goes over here. And look at the ghostly glitter. This is so good. I like it. Eighty six. Hammer. What do you mean, Mindy? What do you what are we getting at? What did I say? Gibbs digging his own. The ghost glitter is amazing, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This poor Skelly is having some issues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did I get the morph? I don't think I did, right? Bubble shooter? Oh god, I totally forgot about this. <laughs> Who likes bubble shooter? No, seriously, I want to know. God, how, how does this even work? Bubble shooter. This is fun, right? <laughs> oh damn, I suck. Here we go. Yes, I got the morph. Okay, thanks. Our hands would fit together? Like two hands and a glove or two gloves and then two hands? What do you mean? Yeah, this is not exciting gameplay at all. So I think we're good. Me, you like the bubble? The bubble pop? I like it like on its own, but I'm not sure I need it in my hidden object game. You like Bubble Shooter? Yay, now we can make a sieve. Fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. So I was looking at this, so I, I mentioned earlier, but I'm getting a vertical mouse. 
because my my uh, doctor he's like recommended a bunch of ergonomic changes, and he's like get get a vertical mouse. I'm like, okay, I don't know what that is, so I look it up, and it literally looks like you hold them like take your mouse and you tilt it on an angle, like you're handshaking with somebody. So I don't know. He's like, yeah, that's the right way for your natural arm position is hold your hands out like you're about to shake hands with somebody. That's your natural position. And by the way, your keyboard should be narrow too because the wider your keyboard, the more pressure you put because your hands have to like tilt. So, so anyways, is there no music? It's kind of like atmospheric, I guess. I guess I've actually turned the volume down quite low in this game, haven't I? Here, let me crank it up for you. It's just some of the music's a little loud, but I'm not sure if you can hear it now. Okay, so let's go sieve it up over here. No, I just found that this game has some weird audio balance, that's all. Trap lock. Guess we go here, right? Yep. Yeah, I cranked it up, uh, Tilde. I cranked it up. Stone heart. I go here. Dark emblem. Hmm. Has that guy killed you yet? Not yet. Not yet. Working on it. Working on it. Actually, he's knocked out or something? He's out cold. I better hurry before he wakes up. Okay, that's what goes there. See, I actually found a keyboard. See, this was my, my challenge, Cat. is I need a numpad number thing, right? But I found a keyboard that squishes it all together length, like, you know, left to right. And it still manages to have the numpad, but it's not your traditional, like, big honking keyboard. And the other thing he told me, the doctor told me, is you know how keyboards have the little feet on them? He's like, you don't need the feet. Feet, you don't need. Leave it perfectly flat. Don't have it on an angle. So, hey, I'm learning all this ergonomic stuff. Yeah, the, I got the, it's a Logitech keyboard I'm getting, and the mouse too is Logitech. So it's not like a gaming mouse, it's like a, you know, it's ergonomic. I mean, I don't think eSports is using ergonomic mice, are they? <laughs> Probably not. So my eSports career is over now, I think. That's safe to say. Well, I guess it doesn't go there. Maybe it goes here? Oh, there you go. Hip, hip, hooray! Strange symbols appeared when I returned the beacon. It's like I've seen them here somewhere. See, my keyboard I have now is relatively narrow, but it doesn't have a numpad, and it's certainly not ergonomic by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so anyways, we'll see what this new one's going to look like. Yeah, no, no, Jules, it's... Like, I've been seeing a chiropractor, but that's more for my neck, pinched nerve in my neck. And now I'm, today was the first day I'm seeing the physio. Um, and, you know, that's a completely different thing that I'm working on. Esports are definitely not using upright mice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's okay. I would rather not have, you know, repetitive strain injury. I think my esports. Uh, We'll have to suffer. So I guess this is here, right? The only way I survived this long is by giving parts of myself to my master. My master and I will live on as our as long as our dark pack is intact. So that's what's kept him alive all these years. Destroying the Dark Pact is the only solution. The other thing I have to get is little weights. Like a two pound weight, a three pound weight. Because they've prescribed me like special wrist um, 
wrist tendons exercises I need to do. So yeah, that's the other thing I need to work on. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray. What's this? And there it is, the dark pack. Now I must destroy it. Insolent fools! No more games! I shall kill you both, and then my master shall rise and feast upon you! Mm-hmm. He's gonna feast upon us? What? Oh my god, look at this guy. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Distract William. Count each eye, each type of eye, then press each eye button the same? Oh. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, good lord. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, 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 okay. There was nothing here, what do you mean? Oh, oh wow. It set me back? One. So one and three of these. Two of these and three of the other one. Yay! No! Master! I failed you! <laughs> Yay! He's gone. It's finally over. Come on, sis. We're free! Leave this place once and for all. Mm-hmm. Yay! You have completed the bonus game. Enjoy the extra content. All right, let's have a peek. Let's see what we got here. Uh, souvenir room. That's always a good place to start. Oh, this is just more... Another round of finding things. Interesting. Okay, so it's like a random object? Yes, that was the bonus chapter we just finished. Oh, there's 23 of these. Okay, hang on. Uh, well, I guess we can do it real quick. We need a post credit scene. <laughs> Yeah, it's unclear unless we have a post credit scene. We're, Marvel has created this need that we have to have a post credit scene. Or like a post post credit scene. Yeah, so my arm is super in flame right now just because of what I had earlier today, but uh, I don't know, the physio said, hey, if you stick with me and you're okay with a bit of pain, I'll fix you up. She seemed to know exactly what my issue was. Just by touching my arm and kind of moving it around, you know? I was like, guess when you have that much confidence, you just have to assume they know what they're doing, right? What's the next game? Oh, I don't know, Luna. We'll have to see. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I like that these aren't hidden behind like little niches and stuff. They're just out in the open. This is great. Yeah, we're revisiting the scenes that were already visited, but now they've got like random items in there. It's kind of cool. It's a bonus bonus, I guess you could say. Man, I'm getting warm. Okay. We're halfway through. Uh, 
What are we looking for now? A bone saw. I got a bone to pick with you. I think we were here already once before. I feel like this is we're getting robbed here. There's no way it's 19 Celsius. Sorry, I got a little distracted. What's my house set to? Um, okay. <laughs> that one. Ah, sneaky. What's with the music? No, 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 no. Oh, I was actually looking at spooky games on Steam today because there's a Steam sale going on. And I wanted to get some thoughts from you folks in chat. There's one game that's called, like, I don't know, Escape the Nun or something like that. It seems like one of those, like, Five Nights at Freddy's type things. I was looking at that one. Okay, I gotcha. Where is my nest up? There it is. There's the little doll, eh? Not now. 70... What the f... Why is my heat on? What the f... <laughs> my heat is on. No wonder I'm dying here. Okay, this is bad. No, well, seriously, why is my heat on? Okay, sorry, I got a little distracted. Yeah, it's a Five Minutes of Freddy type thing, is it now? Okay. It was on sale for like 40%, I think, and I'm like, ah, uh, oh, that's enough of a discount. <laughs> I need another Johnny game or whatever. God, is that his name was? It's funny how you block things out of your memory. And this is where the bonus started. Sneaky. Are the ghosts turning up the heat in your... Like, I don't even know why the heat is set to on. I thought I changed it to, like, cool only. But, yeah, no, the heat was... I was on my phone on my Nest app and it says the heat is on. What the hell? Not good. And there we go. We have got the souvenir room completed. Uh, let's see here. Pictures. I think I went through this already once before after the main game. I kind of debated this one, which is the one I ended up using. Oh no, maybe it was this one I used. Yeah, I think it's that one I used. But I was thinking about that one. Or that one. I just saw a short where they had AI generated Bella Goat as a real person. Damn. Collectibles. Got all these. I don't know where the morph objects are supposed to be. These are puzzles. Some of these were... This was the one I think I skipped. Ugh, yuck. I hate that puzzle. <laughs> That's a little bonus. I mean, this was kind of neat. I like this one. This one was cool. This one was just dumb. I just had to look up the answer for that one. That's not my neighbor is still there if you try. Oh, that's the one I think. I think that one was on sale too. Let me write that one down. That's not my neighbor. Like, I was looking at, like, uh, Demonologist, uh, Phasmatobia, I think it's called. But is that even, like, a single-player game? I don't know. Because September's going to be here before I know it, right? If you have VR, you can play 7th and Guest. The thing is, Mindy, I want to play, like, stream it, you know? So I don't, know, I don't really have the ability to... I have VR, but I don't have the ability to, like... So. so anyways, that is the bonus chapter for Phantasmit, Epix Entertainment. I've got a few more of their games left. Tune in for those adventures. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me.